How was it? Good, good. Good sleep? Yes. Good work? Yes. No. Okay. That's okay. We'll make you... We'll, make, we'll, we'll do the work here today. Okay. So we'll have, a, we'll have a recap and a feedback from yesterday. Okay. So, anybody who wants to start? What did we do yesterday? Recap, feedback. Quickly. If you don't pick up the mic, I'll give you the mic. If, if I give you the mic, you'll speak longer. Okay, it's my one. Uh, we learned about fractal and how it is uh, similar to what uh, Parkji explained to us. Parkji, who? Parkji, Professor Parkji mentioned about similarity <coughs> and we can uh, explain that in a scientific way through fractal, yes. which most of the people understand. And the world understands our language. Then. The world understands the fractal theory. Even we gone through the anatomy of the Arico, all yes. the 18 points, yes. everyone we gone and did the demonstration, yes. that makes more confidence. Yes, okay. Welcome. Like the fractal basically speaks of uh, self-similarity yes. and uh, order in chaos or disorder. Yeah. 
what we feel as chaos is, is in fact order that we don't understand. Yeah. Is there anybody else? Humility purview system. Oh, yes. Yeah. And uh, essence of uh, correspondence system, hmm. all other different different systems like insect system, hand correspondence, foot correspondence, double, yeah, uh, close, yes. open. Yeah, I do. Else? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. We had the master key. Yeah, I got the most important. Be and have. Yes. Should behave. What do you want to be in life? What do you want to have in life? Okay. Anybody else? Or coach? Uh, we were not knowing that uh, in the auricular, the head up and the head down therapy is also there. So that was a wonderful experience to learn that. Ah. And then division of the auricular, you know, like uh, we I used to think that this is one piece. But uh, yesterday we came to know that yes, it has been divided in four different uh, categories. It's been classified. Classified. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. is most this is I think this is the day that you want most people want to do surgery okay so you teach us how to do the procedure theory we will learn afterwards so we will operate then we will see where the liver is where the kidney is and so on and so forth initially in med school we study everything and then we come into practice but here everybody wants the practical part and then we look at the theory we'll experiment okay so we'll do that. My customer is my king and we'll give you what you want. The reason I'm bringing it here is I have people who have been asking me, let's uh, treat us, treat us, we have problems. This is very common in, in all the programs. So I will oblige, okay? Because they're all, they, they belong to us. And uh, this can also be a learning for you. I would have preferred to have it on the for fifth or sixth day uh, after you understanding the entire correspondent system but then they will you know they, they will be with that pain or suffering for the, for the next three four days the advantage here is they will have a time to report their feedback see how I felt and things like that the disadvantage is you might find it a bit difficult to understand the correspondent system but I'll we will always find a solution I'll see how I can make you understand what I'm doing, so you get a hands-on experience. Would that be okay? Yes. Yes? Okay. Somebody said, sir, speak about your journey in Sujo. About five to ten minutes. I think it was way back in 1997, 98, I don't remember the exact date. There was a dissatisfaction you know everything, but you don't know anything. Okay. And somewhere, there is a level of incompetence. You're not capable. You can be stuck with, you know, you know cardiology, you know how to stent, you know how to do electrophysiology. People limit themselves with that. If you read Professor's book, he says he was dissatisfied. He studied the entire Chinese medicine, Chinese philosophy, he studied a lot of things. And yet, once he passed out, he couldn't apply it. He had to, you know, do so many other things to make, to, to make sure that he was effective when he treated patients. And dissatisfaction is one thing that prompted him to discover a new and a simple science. So I began searching. How can I be more effective? How, how can I be more effective? And I went across to a lot of alternative therapies because people were claiming cures in alternative therapy that we in conventional medicine could not offer. Oh, this can do this, this can do that, that can do this, and so on and so forth. I said, what do you mean? I cannot do it. Or conventional medicine accepts failure and you're telling me that uh, it is possible? How much of training did you have? One. Who trained you? Where are the books? Where is the literature? 
and that was one of the biggest learning periods of my life because books were not available, material was not available, there was no internet at that time. So I would go, sir I have one book, one beautiful book on this science, I will give it to you. So I will go there at 8 o'clock in the morning, stand, doctor I am coming, I have patience. Till 3 o'clock you will make me wait. I will wait. Okay, doctor, I want to learn. Then he will come and give me a flimsy book. He said, you read this. I will finish it in one day. I said, this is it? Fine. Go back. So, I had to do a lot of searching all around, all around, all around. And one day in the Indian Express, I saw one small advertisement. So, Jack Acupuncture course done by Professor Park Jehu from Korea and so on and so forth is being held in Asha Nivas, Chennai. So, they said, so, we'll see this also. Uh, all around was in Bangalore, now it's in Chennai. Fine, take a ticket, find some work. I would have had some work in the US consulate, so I went to Chennai, wore a half pant, t shirt. Okay, Chennai was hot, took my friend's bike, okay, found Asha Nivas, came there, and every professor is with, I, I didn't know who he was. Wearing a tie, it was a break time, there was a stall there. So, first I went, had a look, all the books. Okay, you know, some good books are there. At least material is there to study. And then I met Dr. Mona Salon. The first reaction was, I asked him, what is this training program? He said, no, 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 we don't give any diploma or degree here. If you're here for a diploma or degree, you don't come here. Go away. And this man sounds interesting. He's not a very welcome person. He's not Kuchiku. Okay? And then I came back. Probably would have bought a book or two and I read that. I didn't understand the thing. came back. The journey was such that materials were inadequate. Hardly four or five books were there. Okay? The course fees was there. I had to go to Chennai. I didn't have money with me because I had invested everything and so on and so forth. So I still remember I reached Chennai in the morning and uh, I would simple luggage, put it in the, go to the first floor of the Chennai railway station, put it there. There's a common bathroom there, take a bath, shower and start walking from railway station to Ashanivas. Okay? Because initially, before Professor Seminar, Dr. Mohan would do his uh, three-day three -day program. So, I wanted to learn that. And the entire correspondence, five elements, bio meridians, the meridian key, six key, emotion, branch, everything he would finish in three days. And the books were not there. We didn't, the only book on correspondence was Thumb is Head and Sujak Therapy. And Sujak for everybody. Okay, you had to struggle in these three books. Lectures in Sujak. And these two books. Okay. So I would walk, reach there by nine, no breakfast, no tea, no money. Right? I used to smoke BDs at that time. Walking, 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 smoking BDs. Chennai, everybody smokes. Reach there, wait for tea to come, go out there and gobble three, four cups of tea, take biscuits like this because the next food is going to be in the afternoon. And Dr. Mona says every time you go there it's the same food, rice, dal, pepper, pickle, meat, there's absolutely no change. Not like dawal, dawal every day will give you changes. Okay. Dr. Mona says simple food, every year it's the same. So eat rice and rasam, okay? eat, eat, eat because night no food. Evening again, he will give you one cup of tea and two biscuits. I don't know anybody. Bunda, Bunda. Ah, Bunda. Okay, Bunda. So whatever he gave, that is the only food that I would have because there was no extra cash with me. But what I did was I picked up the books. Okay. And I would bring them back. I would sit in the railway station and start reading. And at least you have course material. His course material was good. But that was the best available at the time. He was the only person giving us relevant course material. Okay. So these are lessons that I learned and said every time I do a program, I'm not going to leave my students as apahit. Not going to leave them handicapped. They should get. Not because of the money that you pay, but because you're entitled. You're coming here to learn. You're not coming here for a time pass. So I began working on course material. And I began, I had the books. <coughs> and I began reading, I wouldn't understand because there are so many mistakes in the book. Yet, today this book is a collector's item. I have the
the volume one and volume two, professor comes to my clinic and he signs the book. I have the autograph copy yet. Okay. So these days you have so many books, you have so many correspondences. All the correspondences uh, system that you have in your books, they were all drawn by him. And we didn't have access to that. Nobody was giving us videos, nobody was giving us uh, the photocopy of that. We had to draw, I'm a poor artist. You have the luxury today. The sad part is, when books come out, it takes, it takes an enormous amount of effort, difficulty, to produce these books. And when they, when they become pirated, when somebody takes, buys one copy of the book, makes a photocopy and then sells it, I told you yesterday, you lose out. You don't know how, but somewhere in the long run you lose out. Okay. We don't grow beyond that because for us to grow, we need some sort of resource or the other. I don't believe in asking for funds, personally. I, I'm not talking about anybody else. I believe in generating funds. And how do we generate funds? How do I generate resource? How do you generate resource? If you want to survive, how will you generate food, money for food? You will use your capacity. If you're running a store, you will sell your product and earn some money. If you're teaching, if you're using your brain, probably you will conduct a class, do something and then earn money out of that. So, when we come to a program like this and somebody says, okay, there is some, some subject to be taught, don't come here just because of the money. Come here to learn. And go, once you learn, go back and use that. A lot of people say, I'll go back and teach. Please go and teach. I have no problem if you make more money than me. I have no, I have no problem if you make more money than I say. But you first learn and then you teach. You don't have to pay me a copyright. Professor, never ask me for a royalty. Teach. It should spread. But teach it in the right way and teach it better than me. If you're learning it from me, be better than me. Because I have brought you till here. You go beyond that. Don't stand here and say, this is auditor therapy. Don't reduce the standard. Increase the standard and then go and teach. And do you think this is sufficient? It's 20 years of work. I wouldn't say hard work. It's 20 years of joyous work. I enjoyed every minute of it. Okay. And I'm giving it to you in a nutshell. Now, is this sufficient for you? You decide that. If this is sufficient, then stick to it. But if it's not sufficient, then who, whom are you going to ask? I had a common statement, Sir, I am not from a science background. I'm from a commerce background. I'm from an arts background. And what are you doing in medicine? Go, pick up a book of accounts and sit there. Go home science, get into your kitchen and pick up a spoon and a ladle and do cooking. Don't walk into medicine. I cannot say, standing in front of the enemy, that I have a point three or three, there is only one bayonet. Every time I have to cock and load, I don't have a pistol, I don't have a uh, insas, I don't have an SI. No matter what, if if I don't have it, I need to get it and I need to reach out to my bosses. You provide it. Sir, I'm fighting in a high altitude area. I don't have winter clothing. Give it to me. Who gives it to you? Who has to give you? Huh? No, I don't have it. My job is to fight the enemy in Thais or Leh or Ladakh or on the Himalayas. Who gives me the winter clothing? Who gives me the ammunition? The base command. Who is your base command? Ah, catch them. Right? Where are my books? I need books. I need equipments. I need instruments. You, it's your job to provide. You're paying membership? Yeah? Is he giving you a journal? He promised you. What are you doing? We are not providing. Huh? We are not providing material. Then start providing. Yeah? <coughs> Ask him. I need to learn more. Why don't you organize this program, this program, this program? Have you ever asked him? You approach IAC and say, look, I'm handicapped, I don't know neurology. Teach me Sujok in neurology. He will catch somebody who's a neurologist who understands Sujok. 
They will teach you about the brain. They will teach you how to interpret Sujak in terms of neurology. <coughs> Go out there, use it. You'll be more effective. Sir, I'm, I, I get a lot of sinus cases. I live in an area where there's, where there's allergy. I don't know. I've read. You help me out. He will catch some ENT person. He will make sure that they understand triogen, zone sujaki, mix them together and then give it to you. You will learn. You will go out there. You will be more, much more effective. And tomorrow when he says a nasal polyp or an oxygen, you know, a sleep apnea and things like that, you will not be blinking your eyes. You would have learned that here. So, if you are not going to be able to do this, you will not be able to do this. You will not you better start catching your organization. When I walk into a hospital and I have a requirement, I just tell the HR, within half an hour it is there. You don't have to wait. Because we need to go ahead. We don't have time. You want to grow, you need a team. And you need to utilize the team also. You need, you need togetherness. The beauty of the book is these, these are my first books, okay? And I have, a, this is, for me, this is a collector's edition. Okay? Yeah. This is a collector's edition. My book is not as beautiful as this. It's not shiny. It didn't have a box. But this has got the beginnings of professor work, professor's work. What, what is here, you will not find it in the other books. Okay. He has talked about correspondence. He has talk, this is the only book where he has talked about the biology things. And you read this, let me assure you, you will forget classic, not that any system is less or bada asani. If you read and understand the biology things available here, you will not need classical acupuncture anymore. This is my experience. Because whatever is available, classical acupuncture spread on the body, he has converted it into the bio meridians, we all specialized, miniature meridians. And they work. It is easy, it is safe, it is effective. You don't have to tell the patient, remove your clothes and sit down or lie down. You have to find the points here. Insert the needle. There are no forbidden points. In classical acupuncture, you have forbidden points. You're not supposed to needle this area, you're not supposed to needle that area. But if you read this book and get those points, you, there are no forbidden points. The correspondence is available. Below the eye, you cannot put the needle. It's a forbidden point. On the areola, you cannot put the needle. But here, the areola correspondence, the, below the eye, you can just insert the needle and be rest assured that the eye is not going to be damaged. In fact, for me, this is much more easier and effective. The beauty here is after this, he has given you <laughs> these formulas. This is the only book where he has given me like this. Okay? So when I didn't understand, I would go through this and make points and then treat. And this also used to work. Okay? So, um, if, if my flight permits, I have another copy I would like to pick. So don't just buy this to as a coffee table book, buy it and read it. It's not a friendly book initially but once you start loving it, there's no stopping you. You're not asking doubts because either you've understood everything or you've not understood anything. Yes, your time is running out. So you'll be old, you'll be rusted. They will get used to only you know, sir, I am not from science, I am not from background, sir. The level of participants is like that. Cut down, cut down, cut down, cut down. And tomorrow you want a recognition. You don't have competent people. Yes? How will we grow? I am not a Bahic battlefield. So the more you bleed in the, the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. You have to work it out now. Because your enemy is your disease. And you have to win against that disease. And how do you win? By practice. By understanding the disease. And where is your source? 
These are your source material. I think you should fall in love with them. The rest is up to you. Okay? Now, there is one more issue. Like I said, people want treatment. So what we will do here is, we will treat patients today using auricular therapy. Is that okay with you? Yes. Yes? That's what you wanted? Practical? Yeah? So we'll do that today and I'll teach you how I'm doing it. Okay? This is going to be a lesson for you and that's going to be therapy for them. And then we will bring in the correspondence system. Fair? Yes. Yeah. So who will... Oh, Francesco is a big yes. Yes. You asked the question <coughs> and I answer. Yes. Okay. Who would like to come first? Come, 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 come. I'm, I'm here. So, I'm treating him and I'm also demonstrating to you. Okay? Let's start. Yes, sir. When I'm uh, walking sweetly or taking some lucky there, I feel some excess, right? The microphone. Like that uh, feeling trouble in continuous normal thinking. Okay. See, whatever he tells you, listen to it. You, know, you have to interpret that in one statement. What did he say whenever I walk? Speedly, shall we climb in the stairs? Climbing stairs, or then? Lifting that the heavy luggage is... Lifting heavy luggage, side. then? Then I feel un uncomfortable in breathing. He feels uncomfortable breathing. And weak also. And weak. So, what is one statement for this? Hmm? Right. Talk. So, so please repeat again. Okay. Is it my lungs deficient? No, no, no. What is your problem? Okay. My problem is uh, in party some party, if I dance more time or climbing the staircase or speed walking or uh, taking heavy luggages, traveling, then after that I feel discomfortable in breathing something okay. and feel weak. Yes. So what is, huh? What? No, it's not obstructive. Don't jump into that. Right now, whatever he is telling you, reframe that. He is having shortness of breath on exertion. Simple. Okay? So write that down. Shortness of breath on exertion. Next, what is the, what are the probable organs related to that? One can be the heart, okay, second can be the lung, right? Then what else? How the liver? Okay. Uh, one recommendation is, choose one speciality. Don't mix everything. Draw it in a straight line. First look at conventional medicine. Then look at sujok. Then plan your treatment. Okay? So he says shortness of breath or exertion. The first thing is how old are you? I'm 69. He is 69. Okay. So even at, even because of the age, the body is deteriorating, it is aging, his capacity is may tend to decline. So keep that in mind first. After that, look at habits. So do you smoke? No. Have you smoked? No. No? In your life you haven't smoked? No. Wonderful. You, do, do you regret that? <laughs> not regret that. Ah, okay. Other people are smoking, I am inhaling also. Even though it is not I am smoking, but they are smoking, I am inhaling. Then you should have done that no, yourself. Sir. I don't want to add okay. 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 So, the first thing is habits. Any tobacco use? No tobacco, no drinks. No alcohol, no tobacco. Okay? No smoking. So, apart from that, do you do any regular breathing exercise? Yes. Okay, what do you do? 
morning 3:30 we are having uh, that uh, no, what do you do pranayama inhale exhale pranayama pranayama see i'm just sharing with you what i do give you a, i'm i'm doing a, a sort of biopsy here right so you if you allow your patient time to speak he will speak for 20 minutes 30 minutes you, you might not have that much amount of time the minute you understand that what i do is if i allow him to speak he will say morning 3:30 to 4:30 i get up i do this simple i do breathing exercise or is it pranayama sir ah yes pranayama or that matter is over lead your patients and confirm your findings okay now what do you think would be the organ that is responsible for the shortness of breath on exertion prima facie simply it is the lung have you shown anybody have you seen a physician have you seen a chest physician no no you have not seen how have you been managing this condition on that time i will take a drinking water and ah. breathe take the breath you, you take he drinks water yeah okay so this is a very important correlation when you drink water does the symptoms subside i feel relief you feel relieved now what do you think should be the next question yeah hot or cold water okay the minute he says water what is water related to see we are jumping systems now no okay huh fair enough but where does water go stomach yes so we are jumping from the lung into the stomach okay so if water is going to relieve does he have any diaphragmatic irritation here does he have gastritis do you have acidity gastritis reflux you have <coughs> throat irritation here sometimes sometimes okay so do you have sour benches sour uh, what do you think khatta uh, dakar no 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 that acidity or ah, nothing comes out here no. okay so rule out any gastro intestinal condition does he have any gastritis yes, problem i am uh-huh. so when i am sleeping or uh, sometimes there uh, gas intestinal okay so when you lie down do you have you know do you, do you feel a need to take a deep no, no, breath take a deep long breath like that so when you lie down no, no, especially no. after a meal if you lie down do you feel that uh, you have some labored breathing no no no, no? okay so see he is giving this is the vague um, you know information that patient give you you will have to build it up by asking questions okay so to primary facility it is a lung you got a breathing difficulty especially on working next if you drink some water you know he feels relaxed probably there is a diaphragmatic irritation and that you know brings it under control but that might not be predominant so let's come back to the lung he has not shown anybody so have you done an x-ray uh, have you done any investigation like x-ray we did it but i have not shown anything oh, okay. it's okay right you did that you haven't even shown it to anybody like my daughter pressured me they send me for that uh, it's okay it's okay. Not shown it's okay so you didn't you, you didn't get the x-ray analyzed and there's no diagnosis yeah. Ah, no, that's not a problem. Once I use the uh, meridian system. Have you checked your cholesterol, lipids? No. Okay. He tried to lead me, saying, "I have done this. I just cut him out and bring him back." That's the art of a of a, of very gently. Okay, he wouldn't even know. He wouldn't even notice that. I am here to treat him, so I am on the driver's seat. okay so ask him for relevant investigations have you done your lipid profile have you checked your cholesterol because if cholesterol is high you will see that he will have atherosclerotic blocks and they might he will have ischemia all over and when you exert yourself you might have shortness of breath yes so he hasn't done it if you know about it just write do a 12 hour fasting lipid profile khali pet cholesterol ka check up kar lijiye then look do you have are your sugars under control but one thing when no, i no are your sugars under control no no sugar under control should have you checked it no it's okay no problem okay 
But I always recommend that at uh, the minute you cross 55, 60, have an ambient <coughs> system. Okay? A simple, something like a complete blood pressure, yeah. uh, a fasting blood sugar, a thyroid. Okay, you wouldn't have done that also, right? Actually, when I gone for that corona second injection, uh, first injection, they test me, you know, you are having more uh, BP. I don't want to take the pills. You want to uh, get the report? Then I gone, I did that. Then I come back, now you test it. So that was normal. So I don't want to take the addiction of that medicine. Okay, take it. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. We'll respect him for what it is. Now he comes back to a condition. We, we, are, we are again back. But in, in the clinic, people come with their own ideations. We'll respect that. Okay? So we, we come back and say he has got a problem with the lung. Yes? Now, we are looking at the oracle and we are looking at treating the lung in the oracle. Okay? Shortness of breath on exertion. We really have no idea what the cause is. Is it because of age? Are there any changes in the x-ray? We have no idea. So blindly we look at it as the lung. Now we have something else called 60. In the 60, where would you put this condition? Wind, heat, hotness, humidity, dryness or coldness? Huh? One is wind. Because during the moment he has got difficulty. Okay? Next, where would you put it? Lungs and dryness. No, just the energy. It's, it can be anything. If you've got a bronchus spasm, it is wind. Do you have any mucus coming out? When you cough, do you have to cough and bring something out? Huh? Cough. Does any expectation come out? Nothing comes out. Okay. So, is it when, from when are you having this? Since when? Four five years. Four five years. So you're sixty seven now. 69 now. 69 now. 65. And, and the, it started at the age of 65. Okay. Anything that triggered this off? Yeah, once uh, when we are doing like here, the group dance something, I was so excited then, in the, between the time I feel no, now it is cracking like So I go back and sit, okay. take water and uh, be relaxed. And before that you hadn't danced in so yeah, much, right? Yeah, yeah, enjoying that, everything there. Oh. But after some time we were doing, then I stopped. Okay. That okay. Okay. So this is the first experience. There was enormous amount of exertion. Before that, probably there wouldn't have been an exertion. So if we can look at it that this is because of his age, he overexerted, and thereafter he started observing. So we can look at dryness. Fair enough. Dryness. dryness. How okay. It, how it is related to dryness? Your age. Okay. And the exertion, generally if, if one exerts, he should be able to tolerate and recover. Okay. okay it but started only at the age of dryness. But my age is after 60 is cold. Mm, that's okay. 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 Dryness, coldness, somewhere. If it is cold, it should stop working. Coldness is necrosis and death. So I push it a little. We will come to the age group afterwards. But I look at it as dryness. Okay. So now what I need to do is I need to look at the dryness correspondence area, right? And at this age, it is not going to be hetero condition, it's going to be limiting, so it's going to be homo condition, head down. Okay, we will explain all this. You you just look at the procedure. These 10 minutes was just a prelude. When we work on the theory, we will, we will go step by step, right? I just need to lead you to the correspondence system, that's why I'm doing it. Now, if you look at this picture here, where is the dryness condition? Where is the dryness condition? This one? Hmm? This is the head up condition. Now where is the head down? Hmm? Here. Okay. This is the dryness condition, right? Okay. In the chart. Now double, can I come back to my... Uh, PPT yeah. 2 
we just look at the practical part. All this will make you perfect. Hmm? Since they want therapy, just look at the procedural part. Okay. What is this? This is the rhinus tree, it's the head up. Thank you, Phil Gloss. Beautiful. This is the head down stage. Okay. Okay. So where is the correspondence? In it is here. It is at the beginning of the external auditory canal. Hmm? But such a small area. It's such a small area. It's at the beginning, it's at the entrance of the external auditory canal and you will see, okay, the books given the figures are self-limiting. What we have done is we have made an effort to give you multiple interpretations like this but it's going to take some time and we have our own difficulties. Okay, so what you need to do is first identify the correspondence. This is the dryness stage. This is how the correspond this is how the correspondence area is located. In this where is the lung area? The lung area will come somewhere here. Right? Head, neck, this is the lung area, right? Yes. yes? Now this is how you need to treat. It's see, please understand inserting the needle, any donkey can do that. Hmm? But this also requires an art. So we'll learn the art now. And then we'll go back to the theory because these people will stand to benefit. Okay? So, how do we do that? We look at the procedure. First, make sure your hands are clean. Take some sterilium. Some spirit, wash your hand. Keep it clean. Hmm? Next, since we are going to treat the external auditory canal, plug, take cotton. You, you enjoy the treatment. You enjoy. You get your relief. Don't do somebody else's job. Okay? So can I go? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you will need a light source. He is giving me a light source, so I don't need it. But I need a light source. Focus it here. Okay? This is the light. Plug the auditory canal. Remember how many cottons you are putting. Hmm? Once you plug the auditory canal, then make sure that you are going to really clean the auricle. From open, how, how about we go down? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to move. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, sorry. The breather. Okay. So, my light source, are uh, you relaxed? Yes. You comfortable? Yes. Okay. So, my light source is here. Next, I need. See, that's why I said. That's why I don't From believe in ready made things. It's Chota Cotton. So when somebody tells me, sir, I have to take care of you, then I have to take care of you. I know what I require. There is no light. We'll come. I'm going to go in my My hands are clean, it's sterilized. You can wear gloves if you want to. And start. Put the hand in it. You can start by cleaning unidirectionally. Hmm? Huh? 
don't clean like this. Okay? Always clean in one direction. So since the ear is is spiral in nature, from the inside out you clear. Okay? Because from here, from here bring the dirt out. Bring the cerumen out. Okay? From the inside out. Uh, you can also use an artery forceps. You can also use a forceps like this. It is easier. So clean the whole ear. It is easier because you can twist, you can tilt, and the surgical spirit will not go inside. Clean the whole Okay. You see the dirt here? Yeah. Now, just drop it. Have a nice spin. Drop it. This is biomedical waste. Please make sure that it's disposed properly. Go back here. Go back. Okay. At least twice. Clean it. the inside to the out then don't go back inside to the same cotton okay what I do is I will close it and the area that is not exposed I will go back and then I can clean it okay. it's done okay. yes. have a kidney tray You can also have a sort of apron here. Hmm? This is what, this is Dr. Minchul's idea. Generally when we perform surgery, we have an apron, right? So he comes home and he says, let's do this. I'm amazed at his ideation, very simple guy. And suddenly he brings out an idea which can, I didn't know this. So, yeah. so the hairs don't trouble you. Generally, we have an apron, we have a cloth here. So, you, you do this, it's clean. you should do this before the cleaning. Right? Then, we have an auricular probe. So what I do is I clean the auricular probe, I clean the tip, the two tips here, I clean the spatula and I know the correspondence area, the correspondence area, this is the head down, so that this is, this is at the entrance of the lung, oh sorry, entrance of the external auditory canal, okay, so where is the external article canal? This one. Okay. Now, for this, I need to remove the cotton. It's inside. It's a little inside. Okay. inside. It's not the best case to demonstrate, but we'll do it. So see this is where how do you how do you access the external auditory canal? Yesterday we learned that. How do you tilt the pinna? Lift upside. Up, up, back, back, then back, back, then lateral. 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 Okay. And clean. And clean. And clean. Get that? the cotton, do it like this, and 
So discomfort? You feeling any discomfort? Not comfortable. comfortable. You have a probe. You know the correspondence area. Now here, you need magnification. I'm going inside the external auditory canal. Okay? So to make my life more comfortable and for me to be effective, I'm going to use this loop. This is a magnifier. Right? I have to see inside the canal, right? How do I see? I have to look at all the correspondence area. So I'm going to use a magnifier. Not necessary that all of you have to use, but it's better that you have a light source. Okay. Focus for that. Sure. या तुम करो या मैं करता हूँ तो दोनों नहीं कर सकते एक कमान में दो तलवार नहीं रहती है comfortable with the patient and you have back pain. So this works, this loop will give you a magnification from 6 to 8 inches. So the principles of correspondence are the same. You have a light source, it's illuminating. The magnification is adjusted. So you get maximum amount of magnification. This is an auricular probe. Hold it. Start probing. So do you have pain here? Focus. Focus. You have been here? Focus. Karo. Focus. Eight minute. Square. You have been? No. Okay. So he says pressing pain. So give him the feeling of the pressing pain. So does it pain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Does it pain here? Yeah. Okay. With the same amount of pressure, this is how I go ahead. With the same amount of pressure, when I reach a particular point, Tell me if you experience the pain. Is it pain here? No. Yeah? 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 Okay. Slightly. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? More, more, more. You see that? You see that? Yes, yes. Okay. Now look, there is sediment here. Remove it. Okay? Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. Remove it. बोलो तुम खाली इधर फोकस करो और कुछ भी बिना होगा तो कोई भी व्यक्ति आ जाएगा है ना तुम्हारा लाइट बंद उनको ब्लैक रखो क्योंकि उनका लाइट सोर्स आ रहा है उसके Can you see video may can you see the depression here? No, no we cannot see anything. I think the, we can we switch off that light, his headlight. Headlight mass about it. 
Can I remove this? Yeah. Okay. The image is not clear. Okay. We are doing it. Yes. Yeah. White balance is going to camera max. Normal is going to allow the office. Movement is not going to allow. See, I have seen the correspondence image once. I have superimposed it at the entrance of the external auditory canal. I have cleaned the area. This is how I hold the probe. Okay, up a job. Can I use you as a demonstration? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? Okay. No, for each other people are doing it. Okay. Take a count. 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 I will have good access. Equipment name. Take it. Take it. Take it. Okay. Operation. ऑपरेशन कर रहा है पेशेंट को सब तैयार कर दे होता है बेड इधर करो ओटी टेबल इधर करो ओटी टेबल उधर करो पेशेंट लौट के बोले यार मैं चाय पी के आता हूँ उसके बाद हम लोग करते हैं नहीं वहाँ डायमंड सेशन नहीं है सर यार ओके डू यू डू यू सी दिस आपको दिख रहा कैन यू सी दिस एरिया हियर दिस वेर can you see? Can you see the point here? Yes. Enough? Now can you see the depression here? Don't press more than this. You press enough. See, it, it leaves a depression. You In the hand you can press two times. So anything, if you do that here, you will see lymph will leak out. So now I have the area here. Okay. So I have an inserter. Okay. See, this is where you have to be very careful. You have to plug the auditory canal. But make sure that your needle doesn't slip into the external auditory canal. Okay, sorry. Yeah, or magnetic. Hold. Go on the correspondence area. Sorry, mark. Sorry. Okay, break the break the break. Abhi piche clear dekhe ga apko. I have started my camera. I cannot see you. आपको हम सी करने देंगे। हम आपको 
Yes, extend the ear. This is the head area. This is the lung area. Yes, done. Okay. This is the so that is the reason why you need to remember the correspondence area. Is it simple? Simple hai, mushkil hai. So, I forgot to do point stimulate okay. the So, I honestly come back here. Is it painful? Painful? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So like this you can go on. This you can go on. Painful? 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 Yeah. Please load the insert. All of these are the lung? Yes. Lung is a broad area. Always check, place it here, bring it like this, slide down, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. so don't go beyond the lung correspondence. So this is the right lung, let's go to the left lung. So does it pain here? Pain here? Yeah. yeah, so left lung, somewhere mid lung. Ah. Yeah. So you have to stretch the ear like this. Load, focus, bring the knee, bring the knee out, knee out, place it here, compress, yeah, done. Okay, home. Mm -hmm. right. Pain here, sir? No. Pain here, sir? Operation assistant, just Pain here, sir? Yeah. Pain here. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Do you get that? Yes. Sir, so you inserted the outside yeah. the external yeah. auditory yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 I did that. I did that in the wind correspondence area because I'm looking at moment. You want me to go into the external auditory canal? We'll do that. Okay. So you okay? Yes. Can you can you please walk and jump and come back? Now one more thing. Please count the number of needles. One, two, three, four. Okay? Now let's go into the actual dryness stage. The dryness stage is available here. Now this is tricky. Dryness stage is available here. Shall we check with this first and then come back to the dryness? So go, exert yourself. Just jump. Shall you put the music on? No dance. We can need only for... So, okay, then you can go to the metro station and come down. One go. How is it? Huh? How do you feel? How, how, is, how, how does the lung feel? Can you breathe more freely? Under the leg, Anna? What to bad news? Hello, how are you? Better than better. Okay, please search. I got it. Yeah, good. Okay. Lives, See, make sure, make sure that you have given. In this is a procedure. Procedure में पहले क्योंकि I have removed the bud also. ठीक है? I this is the problem is I have to show to you 
But generally in clinical practice and hospital, the doctor doesn't want to show that it's working. We've read our theory and come, we know that it's working. Oh, 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 oh. RP forceps. You see the relief. Oracle works so fast that if your if your point selection is right, that is that is the reason why you have smaller tips. Yes, and you have smaller tips like this and Sujak, but they are pointed. You use those point, you will see a punctured area. So this is a curve. The next is when you press here. Do you, do you see the point here? Do you see depression here? Mm -hmm. You cannot press it two times, three times. The area will break and there will be lymph coming out. You will not get that point. That is all the more reason why... The, see, I am not telling you remember all the correspondences. But the minute you look at that picture, that image should be superimposed here. And based on that, you, you, you cannot say this figure here, here, the point will go away. So instead of needling here, you will needle here. Okay? Even I don't remember all the 100, 100 corresponding systems. So it's okay. Make my diagnosis. Is it wind, heat, hotness, dryness, coldness? Wherever it is, look at that image. Head up, head down, front, united, open. Whatever it is, get that image in my brain. Superimpose that here. Give my light source. And see, in, in my clinic it is very easy. I know where things are placed. Put here, from I already shifted places four times, so I don't know. I, the familiarity is not there, so that is why I'm asking you for help. Okay, we will do other kinds of needling, but are you understanding how it's done? The image should be in your head, and that image should be superimposed here. And when you have the light source, this is this is pointed, this is curved, so you can even go inside. You can even go inside. Now, do you see? A very small uh, cabal there, maneuver wherein up, back, lateral, how much beneficial it is? Yes, medicine is a chote chote cheese benefit. Vada cheese karne ke zarurat nahi hai. Okay? Now let that remain. Sir, do you have any pulsations here? Jum, 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 jum. No, do you feel any heat there? Garam lag raha hai? Sir, mein chakkar aave? Okay, do you feel any regurgitation, vomiting sensation? Okay. Yeah. Can you sit for 20 minutes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so can we look at somebody next? Yeah. How do you feel before treatment, after treatment? No, it's totally relaxed. You feel relaxed? Okay. Sir, so where did you put the cotton inside the uh, uh, If I make a and then uh, remove and then it. you remove it. This is a split second decision. This is okay. what? This is my decision. I can treat in the okay. I can treat in the wind because he has got problem in the lung that's related to the movement and wind also. So I decided to choose the wind corresponding system. If I had to look at dryness because of his age, that is why I removed the cotton and I would have gone into the external artery canal. Otherwise, you would. Have Otherwise, I wouldn't have removed the canal because uh, the needle can fall inside. Yes, it can fall inside, puncture the tympanic membrane. Okay, we will we will work now. So that's why you told us not to do in, inside. Yes, that's why I said not to do inside. If your needle slips and goes inside, punctures the external the tympanic membrane, why do you want to take a risk? Mm -hmm. Learn to be the expert first. Okay, and uh, if you put the microsphere, it's not a problem. Which one? If you put uh, the seeds, uh, ah, we'll come to the seeds. It's not a problem, right? Whatever you want to do, do, but that should not cause damage. No, no, but it doesn't fall inside. It, it can, it can. Uh, there is a paper, a tape paper. That, that, there is a tape. But if you if you put the tape and send the patient out, because the cerumen it can fall inside. The wax will be there. It is oily based, right? It can fall inside. For that we have a tea needle. We'll, I'll tell you everything. Okay. Okay. But that inside, can you put some cotton so that it will not go inside? Sir, so how, how deep will you put the cotton? Right? So 
So, are you getting the basic procedure? Yes. 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 Hmm? yes. yes. So next, clean the probe. Just What's the here. name of this? So it's an auricular probe. It's available for sale. Probe. Yeah, it's a probe. This is an artery forceps. Yeah. I I started using it because it's convenient. We can remove by the hand or we can remove by the artery forceps. Okay, sometimes you need the artery forceps. I'll show you. Shall I sit here? Yeah. So what is your problem? Uh, while climbing, sitting cross leg or even sitting down. It's painful. Both. Okay. How old are you? 72. 72. So, all of us know it's osteoarthritis, looks like osteoarthritis. Yes, I have taken an x-ray also, but yes. it's the initial stage. Also. It's the initial stage, the degeneration has just begun. Okay, again come back, it's a dryness stage. Double, uh, can I have my dryness PPT here? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I want to show you one figure, okay, which is not there. Dr. Fedor is in the process of building it up. Okay, but just look at it. We'll we'll use it. Do you see this figure here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. What we have, what we plan to do in the future is this is which stage? The humidity stage. In each of these stages, this is the surface anatomy. This is the musculoskeletal system. This is the internal organs. This is the male reproductive. Male? Ah, this is the male reproductive. This is a female reproductive. In, humi in humidity, in all the six stages, we want to draw figures like this. Because without the figure, you are going to be blind. So your needle will fall if you take the picture. You see it in one place. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you understanding? Okay. So whatever we have, we will work with that. So. This is, this is the figure that we need to treat his knee. In the humidity stage, the figure is here. This is posterior. So we will look at, we will come back. There might be some difficulty. Is it head up, head down? Head up. No, down. for him. Down. It is a homo condition. Okay? So why, why is homo? Age. Because it's the age, it's the declining phase. Okay. Yes? Okay. okay. Now if you know 60, it's the homo stage. We all know it is dryness condition. How else will you treat it? This is six key pata How else will you treat? You can work on heat. Okay. Yes, you can work on heat. Why? Yeah, axis. Okay, axis. Right? Because heat subjugates dryness. No, okay? Axial. Axial. Okay. So you, you, you can see heat subjugates dryness. Anti subjugation? Or. Anti subjugation. Uh, so ask him, sir, do you have problem moving? No, I walk about three kilometers. You walk about three kilometers. So it is really not wind. His movement is fine. Okay? So we need to we need to sedate dryness. We need to look at the degeneration. The best would be dryness. I have one more problem. Sir, so wait, 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 wait. Right. On the next problem I'll charge you fees. No problem, sir. This is free of cost. <laughs> Okay, so the best would be treat the dryness in the dryness. But if you cannot do that, then look at the alternative heat, something else, heat brings down dryness. So work it out in the heat, it's much more easier. But then you will encounter cases where you will have to treat the dryness. You will encounter cases where you will have to look at coldness. Okay, yeah, but you, you will have to look at coldness. This is the tympanic membrane. This is the coldness expression here. This is the coldness expression. This is the what? Yeah. This is the coldness expression. Ah, okay. Okay, the coldness. Yeah. I need you here for six months, from six in the morning to one in the night, so I can hold your hand, bang you on the head, and make sure that you do it. And when you go back from here, you'll be the best. But the problem is, all of you to come at nine o'clock itself. The will has to request you fifty times. Anyway, are you getting this? It's very easy. But when you start doing it, it's going to be so intricate. And we are going to come up with figures like this. The whole book is going to change. Because if you have this, 
it's going to be much more easier for you. Okay? So this is the head down. We will learn all this. I am just giving you a practical demonstration. This is the dryness area. So we, we did it here for him. Now I am going to look at the entrance of the external auditory canal. Okay? Okay. Right, so let's start again. So you wait and leave it the whole day also. Yeah. You, you have to go anywhere? No, no, nothing. And then you sit in one place. To learn. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. How do you feel? So kaisa lag raha hai aapko? Nothing different. No, that you you saw the difference, right? Yeah, some freshness. Is it still there? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Let's sit down. So if I miss the base of the six keys, I cannot we'll come. understand this. I'll tell you everything. Are you understanding the procedure? Yes, everything. You hold, you use, by the time you go back, you will go perfect. Okay. Okay, you're understanding the procedure? Is it a promise? <laughs> I trust you. Enough. End of business. <laughs> I trust you. If you tell me like this, I trust you. <laughs> You can see in the screen also. Screen needle gear right, sir. Up in Jaga bed, Jaye. So please see if he has got three needles. Do one thing, uh, remove the, his needles. Okay. Your assistants are assistant. You'll pay my assistant. You can pay. Both of you are in there. She did not bleed. That's okay. That's okay. So we know it is a dryness condition. Okay? So we'll do it in the dryness condition. कॉटन वगैरह मगे ले जा। इट्स अ ड्रॉपर। ऐसे ऐसे बूंद बूंद की रहेगा। तुम उस साइड चले जाओ ना, हम्म, उस साइड से। वो एंगल लेना है। सर दर्द कर रहा है? Things there, it's still inside. We're not going to go that far. Do you want this? Okay, is the probe clean? Yeah. Okay, so 
cold crow. He has got a problem in the knee. Hmm. Can anybody project that correspondent system, please? Can anybody project the correspondence of the dryness? Head down. Head down. See, don't feel overconfident. Mera PPT mein kar sakte hai? Haan, hai. Dryness stage है, इसको और अनलाज करेंगे। You see, this is the dryness, this is the area. Knee. This is the knee area. It is little deeper here. Okay? Right? Okay. Okay. So the minute you see that, map it. It is towards the, what is it called? Cuff. Yes, the cuff of the helix. पता चला आप कल क्यों रगड़ा किया था? ठीक है उसके एंटीरियर उसके इंटीरियर में है, हो गया? ठीक है कौन जी डर रहे हैं? तो एक बार एसेस करो कि स्ट्रेच करो मैं स्ट्रेच करने से और सेरोमेन है दिख रहा है कि विशेष सेरोमेन तो और क्लीन करना पड़ेगा दिख रहा है आर्टरी फॉर्सेप्स एंड कॉटन कॉटन एंड लिक्विड ये भी तो डालो वेस्ट कौन सा है हाँ देट इस वेस्ट So loose cotton thing came to under the artery forceps may is going to separate all rotate curl stretch curl or under curl okay so we is mark you want this one no you see you see the ceremony okay yeah to put a liquid down to the spirit down the Yes. Did you see what the sediment? Yeah, sediment. Yes. Oh, sediment. Sediment. Wax. Yes. Did you you see, yeah. You see the wax? See the wax? Oily. Oily. Huh? Okay. So you, I'm not going to go that inside, but it is there here. Dika? Yes. Yes? Yes. Please don't do this because once you cause an infection, the patient is dead. कोई बोलता था दिल्ली में कोई है जो ऑरेक्युलर आके पंचर करने के लिए एक सेशन का पांच हजार से पंद्रह हजार लेता है क्यों नहीं करेगा? To make an infection, you have to do a scare. हाँ? You have to do a scare in the skin to make an infection. I'm penetrating, right? I'm, I'm looking at the minus trees. So that कर रहे कौन जी? नहीं नहीं ठीक है आप सर मत लाइए ओके ठीक है See, knee is anterior, it's superior, up here, right? Right? So, you see my, you, you, you see my hand is going like this? Yes. Right? See, this is what I can normally do in 5 minutes. Why are you doing it? Because you should know that the orientation, it should run in your head, that the point is located above. Above and front? Yeah. Interior. Interior, above. Yeah. We'll come to the correspondence. But you, you know that, right? You, you, you know that, right? So that point is about. So naturally, when you go inside, we have to make sure it is inside and like this. Okay? At least that area, see, in, in little more inside cerebrum is there. But it's okay, you clean your therapeutic area. Okay? Right now, next.
it is about at the same level where originates the helix. The helix. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so that's the screen? Yeah. Okay. So, you will see, here, painful, 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 yes? Painful. Yeah. Uh, you see that? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Now I'm not going to need him on okay. dryness. Okay. It's not my clinic, and I don't want to take a chance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Why? Because it's too far. No, 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 not too far. I'm not therapeutically comfortable and competent here. This is demonstration. Mm. Um, this is not my. This is not my best area. Mm. Okay. So, sir, Pawanji. <laughs> एक एक छोटा सा एक्सपेरिमेंट कर देते हैं, ओके? तो लेट मी गिव हिम एक्यूट प्रेशर हियर, ओके? एंड सुजॉक में हमको बाहर बाहर प्रेस करना पड़ता है। ऑरिकल में ऑरिकल पॉइंट में एक मेमोरी है, ऑरिकल का एक मेमोरी है। आप स्टिमुलेट करो, एक डिप्रेशन क्रिएट हो जाता है, उसके बाद पेशेंट को बोलो रिलीफ एक्सपीरियंस क Okay, so I leave the stimulant and create depression. After that, Pawanji came from there and after that, 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 Pawanji, tell me the truth. Okay? It's okay if I fail. It's okay if I fail, but I want you to be honest. Before I did this, after I did this, do you feel, if you feel, do you feel any relief? Okay? So I'm going to go to the knee correspondence area. See, because there is cerumen. Can you see the cerumen? Mm, yeah. Right? So I don't want to take a risk. So I'm going here. Painful. Painful. Just because it's not painful, don't press harder. Okay? The correspondence point is embedded. Yeah, see that? Yeah. Okay, so this is the subsidiary ticker as well. Yeah. Over. Yeah. So there. Okay. Done? Okay. So this is yeah. acupressure. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, yeah. You are Only. treating like this? Yes. Okay. Only check it. I'm feeling lighter in the... Feeling lighter in the knee? Yeah, okay. Yes? Okay. Sir, don't tell me to please me. Tell me the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Tell me the truth. Yeah. Yeah. You feel lighter already? Yeah. Wow. No, it's okay. So, see, he feels the change almost instantly and immediately. That's the beauty of auricular therapy. You touch the right point, your patient has to get the relief. Okay? Now, I'm not going to dry this because this is not my home area. It's my own field. There are a lot of disability here. No, I don't understand. Why is this not your area? Yeah, I'm going to therapy. No, 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 no. This is not my clinic. This is a makeshift clinic. I don't have all this, this, this. Okay, but in your clinic, you should have done it. I will do it. 